you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? I want to know who I'm marrying and how much, like, what's the wedding budget? Because I need an expensive one. I'm a very bougie woman. So, yeah, like, once put a ring on it. <laughs> if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I've always wanted to go to Dubai. Like, that is on my bucket list. Hopefully, I can go this year. But I want to go to Dubai. Definitely want to go to the sand dunes and go ATV riding and zip lining. I really want to do that. If you could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? Michael Jackson. He's such an icon. I love his music. I'm a Michael Jackson fan, believe it or not. RuPaul Charles. I don't even have to explain that one because everybody loves RuPaul. And then Rihanna. Miss Robin Fenty. Most definitely. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I'm a good chicken sandwich type of girl. Like a chicken sandwich and some fries with some barbecue sauce and throw some bacon on there. You like, you can't go wrong with that, you know? Or, or, or a good steak. Sign me up. What advice would you give to your past self? Probably just let go of what everyone else thinks of you because it's truly the it's truly the opinions of other people that hold you back from succeeding and in the long run they don't matter because while you're thriving they're watching you know and they're always going to watch so give them something to look at have you ever seriously considered quitting social media no i love it there's been days where i'm like i don't want to post or i don't want to edit and that's just me being lazy but quitting I could never. I truly love my job and I take it very seriously. So to quit, I could never see that happening. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? I'm actually very introverted. Like I will seriously sit alone in the corner and be perfectly fine. I am so, I wouldn't say I'm shy, but I definitely keep to myself. Yeah, but if you approach me and you start a conversation, like absolutely, I would love to keep it going but I'm an introvert. <laughs> what is your favorite video that you've ever posted? Oh my gosh, so for Vlogmas, I did a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you call it, with my sister and my cousin. That video, to this day, like if I'm ever sad, I just watch it. If I wanna laugh, I just watch it because it is so funny and those are like two of my favorite people in the world, so it just brings back good memories and good vibes. What's your goal for where you'll be three years from today? Definitely still see myself posting content, but on a larger scale, in the millions, for sure. We're working on it. And I've also thought about creating my own brand. I would definitely want to start something that's inclusive, something that's original, authentic, genuine, where people who have different shapes, different sizes, different figures can shop and feel included, respected, and valued. Who were the first creators you followed on social media? So we have Miss Deara Taylor, the queen herself. Oh, like she is amazing. I love her. And Alicia Marie. Alicia Marie is like the OG vlogger, at least beauty vlogger. We love her. <laughs> if you had to describe yourself in four words, what would they be? Um, genuine, diligent, um, I would say opportunistic because I will always figure out how the glass is half full and thick because the body is always body. <laughs> and then if I had to choose a fifth word, I'd say faithful because I truly am one with the Lord, but we'll just sprinkle that one in there. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday? My birthday, because my birthday is a holiday. If we could cancel everything, you know how people get work off for Christmas? If you could get work off on January 7th, it's a vibe, because it's all about me, you know? But if not my birthday, then Valentine's Day, even though I've been single for every single one of them. <laughs> Which one of your accomplishments are you proudest of? I'm very proud of the fact that I can use my platform to teach others how to gain a platform. I feel like there's so much gatekeeping going on where influencers and celebrities are just like, I want to be famous and no one else can be famous. Like, no, baby. There's room at the table for everyone and anyone who's willing to put in the work. Who are your role models? Definitely my parents. I love my parents and everything they do is just so inspiring and so, like, what's the word I'm looking for? And so faith-based, like they truly lead the life that I want to walk into. And then 
in addition to my parents, probably, again, RuPaul. I love RuPaul. He's just a great person. <laughs> Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what would you see yourself doing? So yes, I do see social media as my long-term career path. I don't ever see it dying out. I love what I do and I hope to continue doing that. But in case I get pulled a different direction, I would definitely be an orthodontist. But believe it or not, I'm really into teeth. <laughs> Hence why my teeth look like this. I, yeah, yeah, an orthodontist. Or, or I would open my own management and manage other creators. Do you have any hidden talents? So. I like to believe, well, my family likes to believe that I could sing. I could hold a little note here and there, but I wouldn't say I'm a singer. Like, don't give me a microphone. A karaoke, yeah. But, you know, I'm a shower singer, but they like to think I'm vocally talented. <laughs> what is my biggest pet peeve? I have a lot. Honestly, I feel like I have more pet peeves than the average person, but my biggest one is probably crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me but like when crumbs are on the counter can't do it or wet socks oh my gosh what I think wet socks is gonna take the cake because yeah no no thank you 